Hi, my name is Tony Lytle. I'm from Laurel, Indiana. I'm a welder fabricator by trade and I'm a shark. A pool shark. Maybe not. But what I do know is is that after a nice long jog, there's nothing better than a refreshing drink of cold water. Oh, that's cold. What about Boston? What does he get? What every other dog gets. A bowl of water. He won't drink that. Or worse. Nothing. It's empty. You drink from your dog's water supply? I would. And I do. Your pet deserves clean, fresh water too. Boston. Isn't that good, boy? Isn't that good? He loves it. My turn. Oh, that's good. That's good. Doggy fountain. Get one today. Hello, sharks. My name is Tony Lytle. I'm from Larwell, Indiana, and I've been a welder fabricator for 32 years. I also love gardening. My product is a doggy fountain. This doggy fountain allows your pet, once trained, to water himself whenever he wants to. Cold, clean, fresh water at all times. No bowls to clean, no bacteria, no filthy scum or slime, no bird poop, bird droppings, or bugs, dirt, straw, or hay in your dog's water bowl. And better yet, you'll never have an empty water bowl or a knocked over water bowl. You simply train your pet to step on this paddle and within a day or two your pet will have fresh clean water just like you're used to drinking. Hello sharks, how much money am I needing for my invest for an investment? Not a dime. I'm looking for a royalty agreement. 7% seems fair to me. What is so unique about this product and why must you have it? The uniqueness about it is there's no bowls. No bowls to clean, no bowls to collect debris. You simply train your dog to step right there on that paddle and he has cold, clean, fresh water at all times. Why must you have it? Well, obvious. You never have to clean bowls again. You never have to worry about your dog knocking his bowl over and dying from dehydration. Believe me, it happens. I talked to a young lady it happened just to her. So it's very unique. You won't see anything else out there like this. There are other deals, but they have bowls or troughs or different things like that to collect and hold debris, and that's not good for your pet. My doggy fountain is fully patented. I have a full utility patent. We received a patent March of 2010, just a little over three years ago. As far as how far are we on along in prototyping and production, I have what I call my retail prototype. This is a retail product for all practical purposes, but it's still just for the most part a retail prototype uh, because we really need to adjust the quantity or pricing on this product. But I do have a full utility uh, patent. We make a hundred of these at a time. And when we get low on stock, we sell, we make another hundred.
as far as making money, yes, we make a little bit of money on every one of these we sell. The problem is we're just not selling very many of these. We make about 100 of these a year. We sell them for $65, but that includes free shipping. And uh, we probably make 10, about $10 on every unit we sell, but that does pay for wages and parts. So we are making a little money, but the, the problem that we have on the doggy fountain right now is nobody knows it's out there. We need the sharks to help us get a royalty agreement where we can mass produce this and get this into all the big pet stores, the big box stores, and to every consumer that has an outside pet. This is wonderful product and very unique. The market for this product is huge. The pet industry is over $47 billion a year. I'm trying to get a small piece of that. Right now, the biggest market is obviously pet owners, people who own pets, kennels. I've sold these to kennels. I had a gal in Texas bought 10 of them. She's got these very expensive dogs and she wanted a fountain for each kennel because she had 10 breeding sets of dogs. Also, this can be sold to veterinarians, big pet stores, any pet stores, retailers, catalogs, internet sites. I get requests all the time on my website at doggyfountain.com from people around the world, Poland, Austria, Australia, Canada, Germany. I've sold to Alaska, Puerto Rico, Hawaii. I get, I've had requests from Africa, England, Japan. The, the market for this is tremendous. I don't ship overseas. I just don't have the time to get into all that paperwork. So right now the market is huge when you're talking nearly $50, $50 billion a year in, pets, in, pet, in the pet market. My product is different and unique in that it offers fresh, cool, clean water at all times. No bowls, no slime, no bacteria. When you step on this paddle and the water comes out, it's clean, it's fresh. There's no bowls. And it's different from everybody else's because nobody else has a doggy fountain. Everybody else has bowls that hold water, that hold debris, that get warm, nasty, and filthy. How did I come up with the doggy fountain? Well, I had to take a seat for this one because this is going to be a long story. Not so long, I'll make it brief. My daughter was going to school, to college, and working nearly full time. She had an outside dog tied up between a couple of trees. She came home in between work and school one day, and her dog was out laying in the, in the dirt. She thought her dog had died. 100 degrees outside, 95% humidity, and she really thought her dog had died because he wouldn't get up and come to her when she went to him. Turns out he knocked his bowl of water over and went nearly six hours with no water in 100 degrees weather. She asked me to come up with something so their dog would never run out of water. I said, buy a big tub like that, fill it up. She said, they tried that, he jumps in it, it gets dirty, the birds poop in it and swim in it, and the water gets extremely hot. So she asked me to come up with something, and I came up with something very similar to this. I prototyped probably six or seven units, came up with an end retail product, solved her problem, filed for patent search, did a few full utility patent application and received our patent March 16, 2010. Why is my idea the best, best next thing? Are you kidding me? Look at this dog. He's part of the family. He should be able to drink clean, fresh water just like I do, just like you do. As far as investment, to date, I probably have close to somewhere around $20,000 invested in my doggy fountain. Most of that has been attorneys, patent lawyers, patent searches, uh, miscellaneous prototyping, buying parts. Uh, I'd say I've made about seven, uh, seven prototypes so far. I'm not counting my labor. That's just something I do on the side. So about $20,000 right now. Everything's paid for. I'm not in a debt to anybody at all. Uh, what would I do if I didn't get a deal with the Sharks? I'd just keep on trucking, keep on keeping on. I'd just keep uh, making these fountains a hundred at a time and selling them a hundred at a time because that's, that's what I know best and there is a market for these. 
Okay. When did I become an inventor or an entrepreneur? I guess I've always tinkered with things ever since I was a little kid. I used to tear apart my mom's toasters, broken toasters, broken mixers, tried to fix them for her. And uh, as far as my first major invention, it would have to be uh, the doggy fountain. Uh, and the reason I did that was because my daughter asked me to come up with something so that her dog would always, always have water and not run out because she almost lost her dog for that. But I've got other things. I've got a doggy diner that works much like the doggy fountain. I've got a patent on that as well. Seems I really take care of my dogs uh, as much as I can to try to make life easy on them. And uh, I've got other projects that I've been working on. I've got projects in my head. Um, I've got some couple of things that I've put out to other uh, invention companies uh, with not much luck or fanfare. I think they're neat ideas, but obviously they didn't. But I'm just a consummate inventor. I just love tinkering and uh, making things easier for myself and my pets. What does my invention mean to me, my product? My product, freedom. Freedom to know that I can go to work go on a three-day trip, even go on vacation for a week, knowing that my dog will always have fresh, cool water. It's clean, and it's always there. They don't knock, there's no bowls to knock over. And I've even given out a couple of fountains to people I've seen that was really, really needing something like that because their dogs was out in the sun all day, and they'd knock their bowls over, and they'd be at work. So I asked the neighbor, I said, hey, how about a fountain? I'll just give you one. So they took it and they trained their dogs to use it. They love it. So the biggest thing for me is freedom to know that my dogs are not going to be another statistic, much like the young lady I met who lost her dog because they forgot to water their dog on a particular hot summer August day. Freedom. The ultimate goal for my doggy fountain would to be get it to get it into every home that has a pet an outside pet much like my German Shepherds just so that they'd have the satisfaction of like I do knowing that my pets have fresh clean water at all time that would probably be my ultimate goal is to just make sure that every dog could have fresh water just like my dogs do my biggest challenge uh, to date has been twofold number one we're having a problem getting people to know that the doggy fountain is even out there. I have people from around the world, like I mentioned earlier, from Africa, from England, from Japan, who email me and want to buy a fountain. Then I've got next door neighbors who have no idea what this doggy fountain is or it's ever existed. So that's one of the, the hurdles I've got to get across is letting people know that these are in fact out there. The biggest hurdle by far is uh, getting into manufacturing. Dyes, molds, uh, production is something that I am unable to do that just costs way too much money for uh, a small timer like me. So I suppose those are my two biggest challenges right now and that's why I need the Sharks to uh, set me up with a royalty agreement and get manufacturing, get dyes, get molds made. and start getting these dog fountains out to every pet owner. What do my friends and family think about the doggy fountain? They love it. Every time they see it uh, in use with my dogs using it, they just flip out, especially the first time when I came up with this idea several years ago. I'd show people and they just, the draws would drop. They'd go, oh, oh my God, you're gonna be a millionaire. And I go, well, that's not happened yet, but one day I think it will. But yes, my friends, if anybody, it doesn't have to be friends or family, it could be anybody. Anybody that sees it, I show it to different people uh, on my iPhone uh, and so forth and show them videos and they just, just love it. Interesting tidbits about myself is I love just about everything. I love the outdoors. I love our trails. I love camping, fishing, hunting, skiing, snow skiing, water skiing, uh, hiking, uh, gardening. And uh, most of all, well, I'll save that for last. I love magic. I love doing little goofy magic tricks for my kids and grandkids. I'm gonna do one right now. I got a little quarter. 
I'm going to try to make this quarter disappear disappear right into my arm here. If I can, oh, I'm a little sweaty today. I'm having a hard time holding on to this. So let's just see what happens. If, It's gone. <laughs> That's why they're called goofy magic tricks. <laughs> magic. I love doing little goofy magic tricks for my kids and grandkids. Here I have a little quarter, and I'm going to try to make this little quarter disappear right into my arm here. Push it, push it, up. Oh. Push it, push it, push it, push it. I think, I think, I think, I think it's gone. Where did the quarter go? Matchy. Got it? Cheers. Cold, free, clean, refreshing water. Your dog should be able to do the same. Get Joe on it. I don't think she wants it. Go, go, come here. Come on, baby.